with this lever here. And I believe... If you save this guy, you will get a nice reward later. Oh, he's a shopkeeper's son. Did you look at that? Wasn't the shopkeeper our lawyer? Or is it a different shopkeeper? Whatever, we'll find out when we go back there. Which won't be for a while, so... Let's write skeletons in this room. Let's write the second out that I open the treasure chest they spawn. So, guess what I'm fighting. I really hope the music isn't too loud, because I noticed uh, when I was doing my Final Fantasy playthrough, the music was a little bit loud for like the later half of it, but uh, I think that should still be fine. I think, anyway. I don't know. It should be fine. If it is, I will, I will tweak it after this is done recording. I really probably should have checked that when I stopped earlier, but whatever. I think I'm going to record past the next boss anyway, and then stop in the next world. Turn around. Uh, how about no? Wow! <laughs> That's hilarious. Stole his mid tonic. Where are the mid tonics coming from? Actually, that's a good question. It's like, do they just carry them around on them? Or what? Like, I really don't know. <sighs> Ugh, I'm tired. Not really, but apparently my body thinks I am. There's a shelter. Something I almost never use. And the dead guy. That's the only thing to see there. Not run back out. Run past these guys again. Did it. And through here. Open this. Nothing in here. Oh, look at this hole. Look at this hole. Look at me. Climbing down here. If you look at that. That's how you get into there. And there's a hole in the ground here. And I believe this is the, these are the good the uh, good treasure chests. A lot of money and a better sword. Now, I know Jason bought himself a load sword at the store and probably immediately regretted it because he found one in here and then he found like two in the future world. I just completely spoiled the next world. Whatever. But yeah, that's why you don't necessarily buy all these items ahead of time because we'll just find them anyway. Like, for the most part, you will find most of these items anyway, so you don't need to buy them. I could fight these guys. How far off am I from uh, my next technique? 17. Um, why not? Why not? Might only get two tech points from it, but uh, it'll help. Speed up a little bit. And through. Two attack points. Now level up. That will probably help later. We're almost out of here. As a matter of fact, we basically are, and I think I'm going to use. I'm about to buy tonics. There they are. Use one tonic.
I like how they run off the door for like no reason. Load sword kicks ass. Holy damn. Just one hit everything. And refer. Still a little bit under leveled in all honesty, but uh it's nothing too bad. Oh look, there's a supervisor. Who falls flat on his ass? She came to save me on the first day of me being captured. Look, a save point appears. For obvious reasons. This is a top secret document that you should probably read if you've never played this game before. What says basically Dragon Tank Owner's Manual. Hint, hint, next boss. Tank head repairs body damage, hint hint, take out head first. It says a shield that prevents damage by lightning and fire, hint hint, take out head first. Unless head can be defeated, the tank is undefeatable, hint hint, take out head first. Reason number 50 why you should read those things. It tells you everything you need to know. Ever. I'll use this. Just because Chrome needed a little bit of healing. As a matter of fact, I will save again now. Now we're 24 minutes. That's what we're at. Roughly. Probably had like an extra 2 minutes for when I left this game playing while I was drinking. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a drink right now. What the hell is this? What the hell? What bullshit's going on here? Oh, holy shit. There's your dragon tank. Like, really? You wasted all that time building a teleporter and you couldn't build one of these? Like, seriously, this would have helped so much better than that teleporter. Kill the head. I know the head's immune to fire damage, so let's just kill the head. Well, the entire tank is immune to fire damage right now anyway, so... Kill the head. And it heals everything. This head is going to go down before anything gets done. Otherwise, we're just gonna sit here and die. Wow, that hurts. Yeah, this head better die soon. And it even uses fire attacks, that's great. Just fucking great. Is it dead? I think the head has like 300 health. So the head is like tanked. Critical hit, please die. Okay, thank god the tank can't heal anymore. Take out the wheels. That's right, since the head's going, I suppose I could use fire. Pretty sure I can anyway. Yep. Just the boy you left now. That boy is definitely doing some damage. I have to take this thing out fast. I'm so happy I put the speed improvement on Luca. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need that. Uh, I use a midpoint. It's always good at expensive. She's always attacking Nuku with those rockets, I just noticed that. Whatever. Woman beater. Hit some more. He'll die soon enough. Flame toss it, why not? It's not like you can do anything else, Luca. Whoa, it's dead. Holy crap, that was a short boss. Level up. And super duper awesome cutscene of stabbing electrical equipment with metal objects. How this works and you don't get electrocuted, I'm not sure. Yeah, that seems smart. Fix it exploding object. Really? Nice face, Chancellor. Look at this. Really? I'm just gonna. 
tap dance on your head. I wish there was a jump button. I really do. Whatever. I actually I could grab the treasure since it is technically the future world. It's a shelter. Nothing down there. I suppose I can go down there, but there's nothing down there. Wow, nice lag. Oh, guess we're breaking through. Oh, they've been told to stop. And she's back. And... Okay. Who's this now? How do you get there? Continuity issue. The Chancellor was over there and now he's over here. Like what? That's where the continuity issues in this game. But it's an older game. I can live with it. Alright. Quick drink. Okay, she despises him, she's leaving, that's great. I have a feeling I feel like treating on that ice cube in that glass, but screw it. It's just gonna delay the inevitable even more, so we're probably on an hour and a half now. This is six, seven videos. Definitely way ahead of Jason's video count. He has 15 minute long videos, he wastes a lot of time. Oh great, they blocked our only path out. Where'd you go, you idiots? Why would you run this way? <sighs> oh, that's great. Can't run around them. I guess we're running into this dead end over here. Yeah, yeah it's a dead end. Except for this big blue portal here, which you're obviously blind for missing. You need those, uh, glasses that Luca has, which gives you plus 10 to seeing portals. Okay, well, uh, I don't care if we don't know where it's going to take us, just take it and get out of here. You tell me you just can't cut a path through those trees? I mean, it all goes back to the village anyway. Well, I suppose I'm taking this. Back to the uh, portal of plus 10 to seizures. Oh, look at the facial expression. I don't have to linger too long on that. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. It wasn't as long as some of them. And we're in a new area. Yeah, where are we? What the hell? Yep, we're in their world. Uh, and door to negative 50 the opening. Yep, you have to use magic to open that. At least I'm assuming it's magic. And where the hell are we? Look at all those uh, dead cities over there. It's like uh, one of those sci-fi movies. After everything goes to shit. Well, you may or may not have guessed it, we're going to the future. But we're going to the future next time. Until then, uh, let's try again here. It's been fun playing this game for an hour and a half or so. Stop the recording here, it's probably going to be seven... Wow, it was a random flash, I forgot about those. But yeah, it's probably going to be seven parts. And I'll see you guys uh, next time when we continue this game.